brain age, concentration training, smartphones, tablets, laptops, a world of information at your fingertips. How convenient. Or so you might think. Is there a downside? I think so. These modern devices always connected. They may be eroding our ability to concentrate. Does this sound familiar? You're trying to focus on study or work. Yet, you feel compelled to check your email every few minutes. Or you're in a situation where you can't use your phone. And you find yourself getting restless and fidgety. There's a name for this. It's called information addiction. The consequences of information addiction are very scary indeed. Being constantly distracted by new information means that we can't focus on the task at hand. Ah, I almost forgot. I'm Dr. Ryuta Kawashima. Nice to meet you. I studied the science of the brain at a top Japanese university. I'm here to help you train your brain. I worry that our information-driven society is affecting our ability to concentrate. Of course, information isn't solely to blame. The world is full of distractions and they're only growing in number. But fear not. To try to help the problem of poor concentration, I've developed some devilishly tricky new training exercises. In fact, I call them devilish training. So what are we waiting for? Let's start devilish training. Devilish training. Sounds pretty tough, huh? You better believe it's tough. In fact, I have to become a bit devilish myself. To make it devilishly tricky, are you ready? That's the spirit. All right. Let's get started with a great example of devilish training. Devilish calculations. These aren't your ordinary calculation problems, though. You'll see each problem displayed one after the other and you have to write the answer to each one. But, the task is not to write the answer to the problem currently being displayed. Instead, you're to write the answer to a problem that was displayed earlier. For one back, you write the answer that was displayed right before the current problem. Let me show you how it's done. Here's the first problem. We need to remember the answer. It's five. Now the next problem appears. We need to write the answer to the previous problem. But before we write our answer, we'll need to memorize the answer. All right, it's your turn now. 
Let's practice one back. Let's practice one back. Remember this answer. Write the answer to the previous problem. That was perfect. Now let's try it for real. The actual training lasts for five minutes. First, let's try one back. Devilish calculations. Start. Okay. That's the stuff. Keep it up. Last one. Perfect. You got 100% correct. How was your first round of devilish calculations? There's still a long way to go yet. The benefits of devilish training can best be seen if you do the full five minute sessions. So you should always try to see it through to the five minute mark. In devilish training, the level or difficulty is constantly adapting to match your ability. In devilish calculations, the level changes according to your score. If you get 85% or more, you'll go up a level. If you get around 75%, you'll stay at the same level. If you get 65% or less, you'll move down a level. In this way, your level changes as you continue to train in five minute sessions. I hope you'll give it your best. All right then, let's continue with devilish calculations. Your score this time was 100%. I think it might have been too easy for you. Let's make it more difficult. You scored 85% or more, which means you go up a level. Devilish calculations. Start. Great. Nice. That's it. Just one more. You didn't make a single mistake. You got 100% correct. You're good at fast one back. So, now it's time to try two back. You scored 85% or more, which means you go up a level. In two back, you need to recall what was asked two questions ago and write the answer. Let me show you how it's done. Here's the first problem. We need to remember the answer. It's three. Remember the answer to the next problem while retaining what you previously memorized. Three, and now four. Now the next problem appears. Remember the answer while retaining what you previously memorized. Three and four and now one. Now write the answer from two problems back. Right. No need to remember the number three now. But you still need to hold four and one in your head. Now, remember the answer to the next problem 
while retaining what you previously memorized. So, we have 4 and 1, and now 5. Now it's your turn. First, try practicing two back. Let's practice two back. Remember this answer. Write the answer from two problems back. How did you find two back? Okay then, back to training. Devilish calculations. Start. Okay. That's the stuff. Keep it up. Let's try it again from the beginning. Even if you make a mistake, don't give up. Try to see it through to the end. Devilish calculations. Start. Great. Nice. That's it. Next time, try to see it through to the finish. If you give up too easily, you may not see any benefits from your training. Devilish calculations. Start. Okay. If you still can't do it after three attempts, Maybe you should try an easier level. You go down a level. Devilish calculations. Start. Great. Nice. That's it. Whoop. Let's try again from the beginning. Even if you make a mistake, don't give up. Try to see it through to the end. Devilish calculations. Start. Okay. That's the stuff. Keep it up. Giving up and starting again is always a last resort. Keep going, even if you make a mistake. Concentrate and don't give up. It's very important to stay focused. Devilish calculations. Start. Great. Nice. That's it. Last one. Perfect. You got 100% correct. Let's move on to two back. It's good to say the answer aloud as a way of helping to retain it in your mind. You scored 85% or more, which means... Devilish calculations. Start. Okay. That's the stuff. Great. Let's try again from the beginning. 
Even if you make a mistake, don't give up. Try to see it through the end. Devilish calculations. Start. Okay. That's the stuff. Keep it up. Great. Nice. That's it. Next time, try to see it through to the finish. If you get up too easily, you may not see any benefits from your training. Devilish calculations. Start. Okay. That's the stuff. Keep it up. Just one more. You didn't make a single mistake. You got 100% correct. Whoop, you've gone over five minutes. Time flies when you're really focused. Let's leave it at that for today. Good work. By the way, your first result is about what I'd expect from someone in his or her 70s. Oh! Devilish calculations is tough, right? It certainly is tough. Devilish training is effective precisely because it's so tough. These intense five-minute training sessions will really challenge your working memory. Maybe you're wondering what working memory is. Working memory is an important aspect of brain function employed in carrying out tasks. And the implications of training your working memory? You may find it has certain benefits. Improved efficiency at work or study. Increased productivity at work. Stronger academic performance. And it doesn't stop there. You may find yourself becoming less susceptible to distractions and able to focus more on the important tasks at hand. Not to mention, You could even apply your improved concentration to housework or sports. So many potential benefits. Devilish training is a true test of concentration. And it's not just for grown-ups. I think it's great for kids, too. I hope you'll train vigilantly every day. In order to create your daily records, I need to know a few details about you. Select a face for yourself. Is this one okay? In which year were you born? Please write out the full year. Now, tell me your date of birth. Is all the information correct?
One more thing. Go ahead and stamp the attendance sheet. Great work today. You'll find lots to do in this software in addition to devilish training. There are many other types of training. I hope you'll try them all out. Train your working memory with some devilish training. Devilish pairs. Let's begin on level two. Devilish pairs. Start. Okay. That's the stuff. Keep it up. Perfect. You got 100% correct. How was your first attempt at devilish pairs? Here's a review of the rules. Turn a card over and remember the number. If you turn a card over with the same number, you'll clear that pair of cards. If you guess incorrectly, that's a wrong answer. Your score is based on the number of matching pairs and non-matching pairs. Your level can go up or down depending on your score. In this way, the difficulty is adjusted just like in devilish calculations. Okay then, let's continue training. You scored 85% or more, which means you go up a level. Devilish pairs. Start. Ooh, lucky. That's the stuff. Keep it up. You didn't make a single mistake. You got 100% correct. Pretty good. You're clearly not being pushed hard enough. Let's try to make it more of a challenge. You scored 85% or more, which means you go up a level. Devilish pairs. Start. Great. Nice. That's it. Perfect. You got 100% correct. Huh, still too easy. Well then, let's move you up a level. You scored 85% or more, which means you go up a level. Devilish pairs. Start. Okay. Whoop. Don't panic. That's the stuff. Keep it up. Good work. You got 65% or less correct. I'm wondering, you wouldn't happen to be turning over those cards at random, would you? If I'm mistaken, I apologize. You scored 65% or less, and so you go down a level. Devilish pairs. Start. Great. 
Nice. Ah. Uh. That's it. Ah. Uh. You really gave it your all. You got 66% correct. For your next attempt, you start the level. Devilish pears. Start. Whoop. Just relax. Start from the beginning. Next time, try to go all the way to the end. Devilish pears. Start. Okay. Whoop. That's the stuff. Keep it up. Don't panic. Good work. 66%. For your next attempt, you stay at the same level. Devilish pears. Start. Great. Ah. Uh, nice. Ah. Uh, that's it. You really gave it your all. You got 66%, correct? Very good. You're being pushed to your limits, yet you keep going. You're doing really well. You scored more than 65%, which means you stay at the same level. Devilish pears. Start. Whoop. Okay. That's the stuff. Keep it up. Wonderful. You got 85% or more correct. After staying steady for some time, you're finally going up a level. Keep up the good work. You scored 85% or more, which means you go up a level. Devilish pairs. Start. Great. Nice. That's it. Whoop. Don't panic. You really gave it your all. You got 70% correct. We passed the three minute mark, and this is where it really gets going. Stay focused. You got around 75%, which means you stay at the same level. Devilish pears. Start. Ah. Uh, okay. That's the stuff. Ah. Uh, Keep it up. Good work. You got 65% or less correct. correct. For your next attempt, you go down a level. Devilish pairs. Start. Great. Nice. That's it. Perfect. You got 100% correct. That level was no problem for you. Let's see how you fare one level higher. You scored 85% or more, which means you go up a level. Devilish pairs. Start. Whoop. 
Okay. Just relax. That's the stuff. Keep it up. Good work. You have five percent or less correct. Almost in five minutes, just a little more. Take a deep breath and push on. You score sixty five percent or less, and so you go down a level. Devilish pairs. Start. Whoop. Great. Don't panic. Nice. That's it. You really gave it your all. You got 65% or less, correct? Perhaps you're not in top form today. But don't lose heart. Always give it your best. You scored 65% or less, and so you go down a level. Devilish pairs. Start. Okay, that's the stuff. Keep it up. You didn't make a single mistake. You got 100% correct. That's five minutes now. Yeah. You may not feel like stopping just yet, but I think we should leave it there for today. Good work. Let's put your score on the graph. Training grade. Challenge the speed of your working memory with some supplemental training. Calculations times 20. Calculations times 20.
Work on keeping your brain active with some brain training. Blockhead. Give your brain a break with some relaxation mode. Blob Blast. hand do you write with? Turn the system sideways. Start.
did it. Let's save your progress. Settings. Thanks for playing.